my anxiety has gone down i am attracting people that are on the same high vibrational plane i'm being presented with more opportunities my love life my finances all of that in general has drastically improved the point of affirmations are to get into your subconscious mind uh, hey guys it's lp murray here better known as la promise or promise and welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel today's video is going to be a really good one so make sure you grab a snack a drink relax and let's talk about it first off guys i want to say that i am not a motivational speaker or a manifestation coach i just happen to be someone who feels as though they give great advice and this video is a direct result of that i am in a great mood and i've been in a great mood consistently or fairly consistently for the past few months or so um, which is quite shocking to me considering some of the things that have been occurring in my life one major one being the loss of my father. If you know, you know. I am definitely a daddy's girl. I love my mom to death. Um, and thank God I was blessed to have both of my parents in my life. But there's something about a daughter-father's bond that is definitely unmatched. Um, I said all that to say that I definitely could have been falling apart. But I'm not, thankfully. And let's get into what you came to this video for. And that is going to be change your habits change your life first up on my list is prayer uh shocking if you know me not really religious or not you need to know that prayer works it is definitely like that universal go-to uh some of us do it daily and some of us do it as a last resort nonetheless Prayer is something that we have all or a majority of us have learned at a young age. For me, prayer is a chance to go to my creator and get things off of my chest that I wouldn't necessarily tell another friend or family member. It is a direct pipeline to ask God for what it is that I want. And it is a direct praise to thank him for what it is that I already have. I know that when I go to God about certain things, I feel like a giant weight has been lifted off of my shoulders because guess what? I know it's being handled and it's being handled in the best possible way. So yeah, prayer for me is definitely always going to be number one. All right, so moving on to number two. <laughs> number two is going to be a hit or miss with some people, but it is keeping busy. Now, I know you may be like, well, how does this pertain to the topic? it does and let me explain why an idle mind is the devil's playground i know you heard it and so although i'm at a point in my life where i feel as though i can stay t on top of those negative thoughts and i can c kind of control my thoughts i'm a lot better at it than i once was so for me keeping busy is definitely going to be on this list now some of the things that i do to stay busy are work out uh <laughs> yeah i already know that i am on a health journey and so working out is something that i love to do uh you get the perks of looking good inside of clothes and outside if you know what i mean but not only that it is it is a chance to like break through your mental barriers for me once i set a goal i will do anything and everything to get to that goal and so when I'm working out I know that I want to break through any plateaus that I may be experiencing and so I mentally get there and I get it done another thing that I've been doing to stay busy is doing my research on social media you guys know that I want to grow my social media um, I feel like I belong in this field so I have been doing a lot of research and I have been slowly but surely implementing that research and I definitely have been seeing results of that the point of this one is to do things that are going to benefit you you want to be productive staying busy doesn't necessarily mean like going and do anything just to be doing something stay busy with hopefully positive things we don't condone negativity we don't all agree on what's negative and what's positive but you know what i mean you get the gist of it so you want to be productive uh you want to stay busy you want to use your time wisely and that does not mean not to rest because of course we want to get our rest in that's important as well but that's not what i'm talking about 
<laughs> number three is going to be journaling i personally love to journal i've always loved to write in general in school uh whether it be short stories poetry whatever it is i like to write and you don't have to necessarily do like the dear diary type things when i know when people think of journaling they think of that but it's not just that you can journal anything there's millions of things you can journal you can journal about your day of course that is something that you can write about but you can journal about things that you've learned you can do what i do and journal affirmations and affirmations this is going to be like a little bullet point in here because affirmations are important as well and i incorporate these daily um and i'm going to go ahead and share with you these affirm cards that i got from amazon these are affirmation cards i'll be sure to link them in the description box below but you get a like nice little size stack of cards and they say create the life you crave i'll just shuffle these uh at the top of the week whatever that is for me i go to work on sunday so i'll normally do this on a sunday i'll shuffle them and i will pull a card and this will be my affirmation for the week so this one says she remembered who she was and the game changed you don't want to just say these affirmations you want to repeat them over and over again and drill them in your head and you want to believe them because the point of affirmations are to get into your subconscious mind break down those negative thoughts break down those negative habits break down those negative um just the negative patterns that you've already had or the negative connotations or things that you think about yourself you want to work on changing those and affirmations will help you do that so i'm going to link these in the description box below because i know you're going to pick these up they're amazing i love them um, and i'm looking forward to ordering more um, so that is that with affirmations but yeah journaling so i journal a lot i have a journal for many different things i even have a dream journal where anytime i wake up in the middle of the night or anytime i wake up in the morning and i remember something i'm like dang what is that about i'll journal it down because i know that if i need to i can revisit it at a later date um, and a lot of times when i do revisit my journals i'll see how it correlates uh, or corresponds to whatever it is that is going on in my current now so yeah try an exercise where you just sit down and you journal anything that comes to mind you'll be surprised about what goes on that paper all right so we are getting down to the nitty-gritty and i hope you are having fun so far i hope this video is proving to be something that you really enjoy um, so I'm going to go ahead and get into number four. Number four is going to be two things and I will say meditating and breath work. I put these both as number four because I believe that they go hand in hand. Meditating for whatever reason has become to be quite controversial, but for me, it works. I can only speak for myself. Now, I know when you think of meditating, you think of sitting down and being like, hmm, but it's not that. And I'm not mocking anyone who does that. But meditating is just an opportunity for you to quiet your mind, to allow your thoughts to come to your head, but not necessarily latch on to those thoughts. You let those thoughts cross your mind and just free themselves a way to attach not to attach to emotions you let those emotions come up or things that you were experiencing come up but you just let them go you don't even attach to them that's what meditating is for me and a lot of times i'll clear my mind to the point where if something pops up i know that it is something that i need to pay attention to um yeah get into meditating do your own research on it i don't want to tell anybody how to meditate but meditating has definitely changed in my life. I've become a lot more positive. I'm able to control my reactions a lot more. So I am less reactive to a lot of things. I allow myself to just like feel it and be like, oh, okay. So I'm definitely that type of person where you could be yelling it and I'll just be like, because of meditating now not that's not to say that i am completely there because i definitely can go there with you and that's not where you want to be with me but yeah so meditating does that for me and breath work when you're in the moment and you feel yourself getting angry or this is when you feel yourself like getting worked up you can just be like breathe 
breathe and I don't mean those shallow breaths you need to take those deep breaths where you breathe in for three or breathe in for four and breathe out for four um it definitely helps me on that end and it helps me when I'm working out as well because just get into it that's all I can say just get into it guys um especially if you find yourself reacting a lot to other people uh reacting to things that you can't control meditating will help with that <laughs> number five um and it's not like this one is better than any of the other ones it just happens to be number five so let's not think that but number five is going to be get to know yourself on a deeper level it allows you to learn the ins and outs of who you are like we're constantly growing now you may be thinking okay i already know myself mm, no unless you're done growing and unless you can honestly say you're done growing and there's nothing left in life that you need to know we are always constantly getting to know ourselves because we're always constantly growing life is always throwing stuff at us life always has a way of making us forcing us to grow whether we want to do it or not so yeah, actively getting to know yourself allows you to persevere through life. You get the perks of avoiding things that you know trigger you um, or learning ways to combat what it is that triggers you. You avoid situations where you know you shouldn't be in. You start to find the people that you you should be around and you gravitate towards people that are more so like you just getting to know yourself is like a beautiful thing like i always thought like oh i know me i know me i know me but no like as i'm getting older and as i'm learning a lot more things experiencing a lot more things i know that i am just on the tip of an iceberg when it comes to knowing myself and i am actively doing so that means i am allowing myself to experience life and i'm allowing myself to fall and get up and fall and get up and i'm remembering what it is that makes me me so yeah like i don't know if that makes sense hopefully i'm making sense because it's just like you can start being true to yourself and true to who you are this is who i am i accept who i am i love who i am and either you're on board with it or you're not and regardless if you're not it's your loss <laughs> that brings me to the end of this video uh hopefully you enjoyed this one because i enjoyed filming it those are going to be five habits that have changed my life um you know how they say change your mindset change your life change your habits change your life change your habits change your mind change your habits change like <laughs> change your habits um and that's all i can say so if you enjoyed this video go ahead and give me a thumbs up uh what do you do what habits do you have that have changed your life i'm interested in knowing so make sure you drop those in the comment section below and also if you have any suggestions on any other thing that you want me to talk about go ahead and leave that below as well i love talking to you guys i love reading your comments and if you're not a subscriber which do I have any non-subscribers out there? I want to say that everyone who channel who visits my channel is a subscriber. I'm going to put that out there. So you better be a subscriber or else. <laughs> no, for real. I'm grateful for each and every one of you. Uh, no matter how slowly my channel is growing, I am like, I'm so happy. This is what I like to do. Who would have ever thought that I would be into social media? But I am. <laughs> See you in the next video, guys. I'm done talking.